I've been at this for 20 years now, and I've, I've, uh, I've won a few fights. I lost a few fights, but I'm still here. Well, I've been, you know, from the second I signed professionally, I've been in that environment, you know, uh, whether I was first choice or second choice. And I, I've learned over the course of time that my biggest competition is myself. I, I don't focus on, you know, I think it's a, I think it's a myth by people who've never uh, put the gloves on that um, that the other goalkeepers push you to be better. I don't, I don't think that's a thing. I, I think if another goalkeeper drives you to be better in training, I think you're in the wrong profession. He's seen a lot. He's been around a lot. He's getting older. Um, you know, he's still an unbelievably super fit athlete, uh, and his body's still in fantastic conditions. I think the goalkeeping position athletically has 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 grown. It's been, you know a lot more is asked of goalkeepers um, to try and uh, almost be a sweeper keeper. You know that people put different labels on it, but be able to read the game in a way that uh, you're playing higher off your line, that you can you can stop any through balls. You you have the you have the, the pace and the power to get there, uh, but also the the football IQ to read situations. Um, you know in terms of in terms of goalkeepers, uh, physical build, these goalkeepers are nowadays we're just as lean as any other outfield player, sometimes more, uh, believe it or not. Tim is unbelievably athletic. His biggest strength is his ability to find great spots, great angles, break down quickly, and make the saves, the big saves to keep his teams in games. Um, you know, we do a lot of handling, a lot of footwork to keep his feet and hands very clean. Um, you know, he's obviously got very, very good feet, left and right foot, he's very comfortable on the ball. So we've really just tried to hone in on that as well um, over the last 12 months. I think the crowd noise just kind of becomes a murmur, you know. Um, you maybe pick out one or two voices, but even at that particular moment, you're, you're focused on, on something else. And so, uh, Again, with experience, I've learned to kind of drown that out and, and, and really put all of, my, um, all of my concentration into everything else that, that pertains to the game and, and nothing to do with outside factors. The biggest thing for me, and I really hammer this into my young goalkeepers, is the concentration in training sessions. Um, it's very hard for goalkeepers to replicate a lot of the stuff they do in games in a goalkeeping session. Uh, you know, they get that from a an 11v11 or an 8v8 or a 9v9 in the training session. A lot of stuff that we do in the goalkeeping, you know, footwork, handling, stuff on angles, crosses, all that sort of thing that sometimes there's not other bodies around you, it's not at game speed. The, the one thing that Tim has that any world-class goalkeeper does have, he has a switch inside him that can turn it on and off in the blink of an eye. And anytime Timmy steps on the football field, whether it's training or a game, he has a switch inside him that just turns on. And for any young goalkeeper watching him, that switch, is what I really would love to see those kids work towards. Again, I've, I've, I've long since uh, distanced myself from uh, external factors. And I, I, I know now at 38 that there are certain, there's gonna be moments that I can't control and there's gonna be moments that I can. I try and focus on the moments that I can and um, I, I'm only focused on if, I, if I'm playing well to keep going, if I've conceded a goal, try not to concede another one. The presence Tim has as a goalkeeper is something that is very hard to sometimes emulate on a, on a CD or watching on a film. And I say it to the goalkeepers at the club all the time, you know, I have the goalkeepers from the 11s through the 18s at the youth club. If you can get to our games and watch from the warm up through to the end of the game, watch how Tim handles himself, handles his teammates, controls game tempo, these are things that sometimes come with age, come with experience and come with learning from the very, very best. I think patience in the moment is, is critical. Um, when I think about, I think you have to read the game really well. You have to be in the right spot, as you mentioned, physically. But um, the best saves that I've made have been at, at crucial times in the game. And I, I can always remember just being patient. And patience could actually be a split second, quite honestly. Um, but being able to stand up longer or get to an angle quicker, um, you know, that, that for me makes, makes great saves. If I'm watching film of Timmy and I'm giving it to a young goalkeeper, I'm telling him to watch his patience when he's, when he's playing his angles. Um, his starting positions are fantastic. 
and, and his ability to stay locked into the game to make sure he's always switched on to be in the best positions he possibly can for any scenario. Now where I am, I enjoy making saves, but I think I enjoy the, the cerebral side of the game even more, you know, throughout the week or certainly within the course of the 90 minutes, trying to put players in the right position, seeing things before they happen and being the eyes and ears for uh, the defenders. I, I, get, I get joy out of that.